Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Gamer 417 Today I'm going to discuss the games that I'm looking the most forward to. First off, a little bit about the gameplay. This is a domination game. Um, I did extremely well in it. Uh, took top of the board, we ended up winning. Um, just complete domination in the very literal sense of it. But uh, back to the main topic at hand. Um, first off, I would like to apologize about yesterday's video not having game audio in it. That was a technical mistake on my part. Didn't realize until it had actually already been uploaded to YouTube. And like I said in the face reveal, I don't have the fancy computers and stuff that I'm uploading with. So there was no way for me to go in and fix it afterwards. I had actually deleted the gameplay after I had finished uploading. So I no longer had the gameplay to use. So I wanted to apologize about the no game audio yesterday. That was very, very upsetting to me. I felt really bad about that for you guys. But back to the main topic at hand the games I'm looking the most forward to well let's see here I'd say there's quite a few coming out um, for the channel's sake for the channel's sake I am absolutely going crazy you know pulling my hair out cannot wait for Black Ops 3 you know I'm gonna have a bunch of beta stuff up here I need you guys to do me a huge favor I need you guys to start talking to me now I mean we are two weeks away from the beta guys I know most of you will be playing some of you aren't if there's something you want to see that's in the beta, I need to know now. I mean, I need to start getting direct messages on Twitter. I need to start seeing activity in the you know comments below. Just tell me, hey, this is what I want to see. I need to know more about this. And you know what? I promise you, I will get to as many of them as possible. It's not going to be a voting thing. I'm going to write them down. Because, listen, our stats are going to be reset from the beta anyway. We're not probably going to get to keep them. Because if they do like they did with the Destiny beta... We're not going to keep, get, get to keep anything. So I have no problem, even if I, my stats would suffer horribly from checking things out, to do it. Game modes, whatever it may be, okay? I Just let me know what you want to see in the beta, and if it's available, I will give you guys gameplay of it. But yeah, for the channel's sake, I'm looking forward to the beta. I'm looking forward to Black Ops 3 itself. Um, I don't know even much about it. I think I told you guys, Ghost really hurt me bad uh, I was I started off on Modern Warfare 2 guys and I loved Modern Warfare 2 absolutely loved it was in it was an insane game insane pace and then comes the first Black Ops well it was a change of pace with that game I wasn't a Treyarch fan in fact I was kind of like um I'm not too sure about this. Uh, I considered myself at the time to be an Infinity Ward fan. And I still, to this day, I'm not going to lie, I still rank Modern Warfare 2, in my own opinion, as the greatest Call of Duty of all time. In my opinion. Of course, you know, your first COD is going to be your favorite COD, so that doesn't really count. You know, but at the same time, I know a lot of people are like, oh, Modern Warfare. One, you know, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 1. That was the most amazing Call of Duty of all time. Uh, you know, I played it after I played Modern Warfare 2. I went and literally bought it. And it was fun, but I didn't like as much as it did in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. But on to the main thing here. Um, I really was not a huge fan of Black Ops 1. Um, it did have replay value. I mean, you wasn't getting bored five seconds into the multiplayer. Uh, I'll give it that. But it, it didn't have the stay power that Modern Warfare 2 had on me. The only game that Call of Duty has released so far, besides Modern Warfare 2, that kept me coming back, that I wanted to come back, I wanted to grind out a whole prestige, you know, in a day or two, that was Black Ops 2. I was very surprised. Um, when Black Ops came out, I wasn't very happy about, about it. I didn't like the game that much, but I played it anyway. I played 60 bucks for it, I'm going to play it. That's this kind of person I am. Um, then Modern Warfare 3 came out. I don't even want to get into the debacle I felt on Modern Warfare 3. Um, I was like, Modern Warfare 2 is so awesome. It was better than Modern Warfare 1, so Modern Warfare 3 has to be better than Modern Warfare 2. No, they just, in my opinion, they failed to capture that special something. You know? And with that, I was like, man, ain't Call of Duty's dead. I'm not too happy about this. Because, I mean, I just could not keep myself in Modern Warfare 3. I remember shortly after launch, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't stand this. 
But all right, guys, that's all I'm gonna say about Call of Duty. I'm looking forward to that for the channel, channel purposes alone. The next game I would say that I'm looking forward to, um, I'm gonna leave the best for last. So I'm gonna go to the next one. It is one that was talked about at E3 this year. It was announced at E3 this year. Guys, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I consider myself a manly man. I don't cry about a whole lot. Um, and I'm not gonna sit there and say I bawled like a baby. But man, I'm almost, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I completely teared up. I freaked the hell out when I seen just. I knew within instance what the hell was going, what was going on. But when they announced at Sony's press conference, Final Fantasy VII was being actually remade. No joke. No nothing. I about bawled like a baby. I mean, I am looking forward to that game so much. Unfortunately, it's probably not going to come out until sometime in 2016, probably late. But I'm still looking a hell of a lot forward to that game. I'm a huge Final Fantasy buff. I'm actually a huge RPG buff. You guys don't know that because I do Call of Duty. That's the, one of the biggest trends. Um, if you guys want to see like a Witcher 3 gameplay, I can give you guys that. I mean, that new game mode that just came out, the new game plus to help people get that Death March difficulty trophy earned. Yeah, I did that without that. I started a game on Death March difficulty after I beat it the first time, went through, and beat it, starting the game completely over, not taking anything with me. That was impossibly hard. That was it was mind boggling how hard that was. But, you know, I can give you guys Witcher tips. I can give you guys some Witcher gameplay if you'd like to see it. Um, I don't mind that. My kids play Minecraft. I don't. But I do have access to give you guys Minecraft gameplay if you ever wanted to see that. Um, I have just about every big game that's came out this year, non-sports related. Um, but I just wanted to throw that out there and let you guys know. But yeah, I'm a huge RPG buff. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh my God. Going to lose my crap when that comes out. Just flat out going to just blah, go crazy. Now, moving along. I want to save the best for last. And I have. The game that I'm looking very forward to. The game that is probably going to change my upload schedule for this channel. And I may actually, depending on your guys' response, I may actually change how much content comes up Call of Duty wise compared to this. If you guys want to see this kind of content then you guys will get this content. Period. And if you do then that will really help my help me out because it, I won't be having to divide my time up um, so much. You know, I'll be able to do a game that I'll be more relaxed in playing. That game, ladies and gentlemen, that I am looking forward to, the game I am looking the most forward to in the immediate future is No Man's Sky. I know it's from an indie developer, Hello Games, but you know what, guys? Have you guys seen the trailer of this game? This game is going... If it, Even if it doesn't succeed, if, even if it doesn't sell a ton of copies, guys, this game is going to change the way RPGs, the way large games are made. It's going to change the game. There are so many planets in No Man's Sky that you cannot physically in your lifetime in real life cannot physically visit them all there's too many there's like like 14 quadrillion or something like that planets that's insane and it looks beautiful every time we see it it looks even more beautiful it looks more amazing cobra tv guys if you guys don't know anything about no man's sky go over and check out my buddy on Cobra, he, you know, his channel's name is Cobra TV, and you'll learn anything you want to know about No Man's Sky. I mean anything. Um, minus the release date. None of us know the release date. Um, it's kind of up in the air. I was kind of disappointed at E3. Uh, it sounded like they were getting ready to make the announcement, and they all of a sudden, well, we were going to make a an announcement, but things beyond our control have made that impossible. Well, I think that was Project Morpheus because it's, you know, it, it is compatible with Project Morpheus, so maybe they're just trying to keep get them closer together. I don't know. But No Man's Sky, if you guys want to see something about No Man's Sky, if you're interested in No Man's Sky, if, even if you haven't ever seen it, guys, you can ch check out anybody you want to. But if you want to see a YouTuber who is severely dedicated to 
No Man's Sky and you're going to get the most information about it from someone passionate about it, go check out my friend on Cobra TV. You'll learn all you need to know. And those guys are the games I'm looking most forward to. I appreciate your guys' time. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. It was a good gameplay. We see right there, guys. We got the game win and kill. These guys were cursing me. They were like, you, you ain't no YouTuber. You ain't got no channel. And I'm like, hey, go look me up. 33 and 5, 8 captures, 3 defends. It was a great game, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. All right? I appreciate everything you guys do.